What's going on everybody? What is the best 10 gigabit per second switch that you could use with a network attached storage? The year is 2021 and I've tried a bunch of products to try and hook up my network attached storage, my Synology network attached storage that has this Synology 10 gigabit per second card in it. And then the question is, how do you actually connect them? You can't use the router um, and you need a good 10 gigabit switch. So what I want to talk about is this MicroTIC 5 port desktop switch. The MicroTIC Ethernet 10 gigabit per second Ethernet port. Now here's what I've learned about this thing. It's from MicroTIC. I've been paying attention to this brand for about a year and a half now and they come out with some really good quality, inexpensive, relatively, gear for good networking. And as video professionals continue to use more network attached storage, um, that, and they want this higher end uh, Ethernet and higher end 10 gigabit per second connection. These, as video gets better, this is more relevant. So I won't I won't mess around too much here. Here's what I found out. I've used this thing um, for a little over half a year, and so I can't speak any longer than that. But this thing works great. A little thing you should know is that these take SFP plus switches, which means that for each one of these that you want to connect, you're going to have to buy these little adapters, which get expensive. They're not super cheap. You have to get, I went with this Ipolex um, adapter. It's an SFP plus. So I got to find this thing. I did this twice now. Um, but this little adapter actually works really well. And I had really good luck with both the adapter and this. Um, so what you'll see though, you got to be careful is that there are, um, what do you call them? Fiber optic receivers. There's lots of stuff out here. I think you can go, <laughs> they're so expensive sometimes. I ended up finding, you have to find an SFP plus Ethernet 10 gigabit per second Ethernet adapter. So this would be an example of like $43. So just remember that yes, this switch is really nice, but you're going to have to buy these SFP plus. So again, if you're looking for a review of the MicroTIC 5 port desktop switch, I'm getting blazing fast speeds. It's a simple plug-in. It's not overheating. It's passive. It's quiet. I It's been working really well. I can't complain. I've even moved it a little bit. Um, so if you're taking a look at that, I think this will be helpful. I would recommend it. You look at this, there's 346 ratings. All of them are pretty darn good. Everybody that I've seen on the internet talking about this thing has said that it's great too. So I think it's worth checking out, especially if you're trying to do this. Good luck. Um, if you use the link in the description, this will have a little commission. Amazon affiliate would love it if you used it.